I'd like to welcome you to the Farlingay High School Prospectus video. I'd like to talk to you about what a special place Farlingay is. I think that in this video what you'll see is evidence of a busy, bustling, exciting school full of energy and opportunity. We are a learning environment. Our focus is on skills and knowledge and we want to make sure that you have enough of these to do well at school but also to do really well when you leave school and go out into the big world. We are also a very supportive and caring environment. We have strong pastoral teams and you will be supported by them directly every day through our tutor system and also through our assistant year coordinators and year coordinators who will have a very close eye on how you are doing and how your welfare is developing. We also have excellent special needs support team. They will work closely with any student who needs that extra support either in class or out to make sure that they can access the whole of the curriculum and can learn well. We believe that you will develop and grow throughout your time at the school. There will be so many trips, activities, uh, clubs and visits that will give you an amazing range of opportunities. There will be so many things you can do. We really hope that you will throw yourself into life at Farlingay and take on as many of these opportunities as you can. I'm the assistant head teacher with responsibility for lower school. That means I have oversight for students in year 7, 8 and 9 and I also look after those that are coming from year 6 from their primary schools up to Farlingay in year 7. At Farlingay we have a very strong pastoral network. There are three key parts to why I think Farlingay has such good pastoral support. The first one is the heads of year. Now they are very kind, they're very committed and they're very experienced. They work really well with staff, students and teachers to make sure that the experience of the students in their care is as appropriate to their needs as possible. Secondly, form tutors play a vital role in the way that the pastoral system works at Farlingay. These are the teachers that see your students each morning. They give them guidance and information about the day ahead, but also, and probably more importantly, they give them guidance, they give them encouragement and praise through their time at Farlingay. And finally, we have an excellent network of pastoral support within the school itself. This ranges from behavioural support assistants, to teaching assistants, to the special needs team, and of course, the safeguarding team as well. These all do vital work in helping us work together to make sure that the running of the school and that the lives of the students are as positive as possible. There are so many opportunities here at Farlingay, and I believe that they really do get an exceptional level of pastoral support in order to help them achieve success. Welcome to the English department at Farlingay. Here we aim to be an exciting and dynamic team that will lead you through a range of stimulating texts, whether that's from challenging ideas and opinions while we read and discuss non-fiction to exploring the imagined worlds and characters of fiction. We aim for that diversity to create interest wherever yours lies, whether that's from the magazine unit to studying a film in year nine. We also work really closely with the library, so we have dedicated library lessons, as well as there being clubs running over there as well. We hope to build on all the skills you bring with you and give you opportunities to excel, whether that's in poetry or creative writing competitions or reading competitions that we run. So hopefully during your time at Farlingay, you'll experience a wide range of things because your teachers will choose texts that suit you or challenge you. We hope that you develop the skills that will help you interpret the world around you. Welcome to the Maths Department. Here our aim is to infuse our students with beauty and creativity that we see in maths as teachers. Our key stage scheme of work is based on big themes and you'll get to cover these big interesting ideas from, from maths that include your key skills as well. We have lots of problem solving, which means that your, your teachers will support you in being able to tackle big problems well, that, that will then allow you to go on to break down those problems yourselves into smaller things. So you'll be able to come to your own conclusions about some really interesting topics in maths. At Farlingay, our aim is for Year 7 and 8 science to be accessible, challenging and enjoyable for all. Students enjoy biology, chemistry and physics through investigations and through real life examples. We aim for our students to be creative and to be able to make mistakes. 
We also help to prepare our students for the real world with a focus on sustainability, healthy living and scientific careers. Outside of lessons, our students have access to a wide range of opportunities including science club, science seminars and our ecological activities including bird ringing and mammal recording. We look forward to seeing you in September at Farnham. In the art department at Farningay, we're a large department of uh, five teachers and five rooms. We also have a dark room and we have a computer suite. And uh, this means that you get a range of experiences within our teaching. So when you come in at Key Stage 3, uh, by the time you've reached the end of Year 9, you would have had a chance to have a go at absolutely everything, from printmaking to drawing to wire work to 3D work. There'll be something for everybody. And our aim is to nurture your creativity uh, but also to find things that suit you best in your way of working. And when you get to GCSE, you can choose from art textiles and you can choose art photography or art craft and design. And that carries through up into A levels. You've got a really broad scope of pathways through to choose from. Uh, also, we are really proud of our community links. And um, we have many and we have produced work for Foxborough Farm. Uh, we have an amazing plaque you may have seen, which is on the Riverside building down in Woodbridge, which was created by our students and a visiting ceramicist. So there'll be lots of all sorts of extracurricular opportunities to get involved with, trips to London, trips to local galleries, uh, and a really thriving art community. So we welcome you with all your ideas, uh, all of your experiences, all of your starting points, and we look forward to you joining our art community. Welcome to Drama. Here at Farlingay, we offer lots of opportunities in our drama lessons. We do a range of things like studying plays, practical work, we build your confidence, uh, you'll work as teams, you'll work on your own. Uh, it's a very practical, very positive, engaging lesson. Also in drama, we offer lots of extracurricular activities. We have uh, drama clubs that run at lunch times, and we also offer two large productions throughout the year. We have the upper school production, which is hugely successful, with students from years 10, 11, 12 and 13, all working together to create a big musical production. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you're not a singer or a dancer, we also have the backstage crew, uh, we have lighting, we have the stage manager, uh, and lots of opportunities for everybody to get involved. We also, in the summer, have the lower school production, which is year seven, eight and nine, also putting on a fantastic musical production. So whatever your ability or interest in drama, we really look forward to welcoming you here and seeing what you can do. With the lower school, you get to experience uh, performing in front of a, an audience for well, quite a big audience as well. It's just a really good experience to get involved with. Even if you're not too confident, they'll build you up. And if you just want to be in the chorus instead of having a, a speaking role or a singing role, you can do that as well. There's so many different aspects to the show and my favourite part is the dancing. For everyone it's different, but it's really boosted my confidence and helped me make loads of new friends throughout the years. Hello and welcome to the Humanities Faculty. Uh, we're a large faculty here at Farlingay and we uh, have lessons from Key Stage 3 right the way through to A Level. At Key Stage 3 we offer History, Geography and RE, or PRE as we now call it, Philosophy, Religion and Ethics. We study a wide range of topics uh, across all three different fantastic subjects and all the teachers try to offer really engaging and exciting and, uh, and interesting topics and lessons. At Key Stage 4 we study also, uh, along with those subjects, uh, Sociology and also Psychology. Now, for those of you who don't know, Sociology is a study of society and human behaviour and psychology is a study of the mind, the brain and also behaviour. At Key Stage 5, so A-level, we also offer um, politics and also criminology, two fairly new subjects, both of which are very, very popular. Across the whole faculty, we try to offer as many different trips as we can and we offer um, fantastic foreign trips. Uh, we take students to Belgium and to France on a battlefield trip. We've offered trips to Italy and Iceland and the United States of America in the past and we hope to do similar things this year. And in Year 7 we take students to Stansted Mount Fitchett Castle, which is a wonderful reconstruction of a Mott and Bailey Castle. And in, uh, as I said, we also do other trips uh, further afield. So we're a fantastic faculty, uh, we offer brilliant teaching and we're looking forward to seeing you. Within ICT, during year, the Key Stage 3, 
We cover a wide range of areas. We include um, how to st stay sa safe online and also we cover website design and how to program. We also look at how computers work. We're also really keen to have you join us and we are going to offer you some really interesting things to do. Hello and welcome to Languages. Um, there are not very many schools these days um, who can say that they offer all three languages with equal weighting from year seven all the way up to A level. But that's what we do at Farlingay. We can offer French, German and Spanish all the way from year seven up to year 13. And all of our students have the opportunity to learn at least two of these languages. Um, I think the great thing about our faculty is that we're so large, there are 11 teachers from all different places around the globe and we don't just teach from the textbooks, we really know the culture of the languages we teach. So not just the native speakers but the rest of us as well spend every opportunity, take every opportunity to go to those countries and keep our skills really current and bring the culture back for our students. We offer a huge range of trips of, uh, and trips and exchanges. We have an exchange to uh, France, Germany and Spain which run every year and we also offer additional trips, for example the sixth form trip to Berlin which runs every winter and we have taken our sixth formers for French to Lyon to the Festival of Lights. We also have opportunities for the younger students, for example in Activities Week we regularly do a residential to France and we've got one planned for Spain. Um, I think if we're looking at future developments we hope to continue to add to our range of trips and visits and we're looking at maybe adding another language, for example Italian enrichment for sixth formers and also working with some institutions to um, offer more twinning, for example with France and Spain as well as the current opportunities that we've got with the Goethe Institute for German which my colleague will talk about. It would be lovely to see you here at Farlingay doing languages, thank you. French and German exchange and I also had an incredible opportunity to go on a PASH scholarship to Weimar in Germany and I spent three weeks with about 90 people from 18 different countries across the world and we had an excellent time. We did loads of lessons um, which weren't as bad as they sound and we did loads of activities around the area and learn about the history of Germany. I really enjoyed my time here learning languages at Farlingay. The teachers have a real passion when they teach their subjects. I really like the idea of learning a language as it, it enables you to communicate with other people from across the world and not many people in the UK currently take a language um, so it's a really special thing to do. Um, I really enjoyed the teaching and all the support given here at Farlingay. They really show a passion in teaching. They also offer many opportunities. Um, I was able to take part in a scholarship for two weeks last year um, in Bavaria, and it was one of the best experiences of my entire life. Um, it was so interesting learning more German, and I met new friends, and it was just incredible. We are incredibly fortunate at Farlingay to be a member of PASH, um, a global network of uh, schools set up by the German Foreign Office to support the teaching and learning of German. Our students have access to an incredible range of opportunities, such as fully funded scholarships, um, work experience placements with um, German companies such as Mercedes-Benz. PASH also provides fantastic professional development opportunities for our teachers. In school, some of the benefits of PASH membership for our students include the um, use of iPads, um, German-speaking Lego robots and also an escape room. We're really proud of the work our students have been doing um, as part of PASH and we look forward to many fantastic opportunities in the future. Hello, welcome to music. Um, in music we have a full provision of extracurricular activities. We have bands, we have um, orchestras and choirs. So no matter what your level or what your standard coming in, we can get you involved straight away. It's important to us that students are doing and they're actively involved in things like the school shows and involved in concerts and the music tour um, that we're planning to go to Italy in the summer of 2021. Um, so what can you expect when you come into year seven? So you can expect a full curriculum and programme for you um, that will involve studying on keyboard, doing 
some listening, doing some singing work, listening to music from a huge range of genres, so right from classical through to popular music um, and beyond world music too. We offer also one-to-one -one peripatetic lessons and we have the full range. We have 300 students plus having instrumental lessons per week. So you will either, as you come up from primary, fill out the forms or when you come to secondary school, we can set you up with lessons uh, for singing or the full uh, range of instrumental provision. I love being in the band because I play a musical instrument and it's just such a great way to get involved and find out, sort of learn different things and it really challenges you. Hi, welcome to PE. Um, so at Farlingay, we like to offer a variety of different activities. Now, we cater for absolutely everybody in terms of ability. For us, um, one of the biggest focuses on, on PE in Farlingay is about skill development. All right? We believe that if you were to go on and enjoy your sports and make progress in your sport and have lifelong enjoyment of sport, then we feel that you need to have that skill level that underpins all those different sports. So within PE lessons, you'll find a lot of work on skill development, then putting them into competitive situations so you can apply those skills across games. Now, at, at Farlingay, sorry, you'll find there's a variety of clubs and extracurricular opportunities to be getting involved in. Obviously, within your PE lessons, you'll be pushed in a variety of different sports, but extracurricular-wise, we have different clubs going on at lunch times and a number of clubs going on after school as well. But you'll find our fixtures take place after schools uh, mostly. Um, in terms of the clubs, we have a variety of sports. We're not just um, sticking with the fundamental sports of football and netball, but obviously we cover those massively as well. But you can find that you'll get involved in things like handball, things like um, um, volleyball, things like rowing, things like cross country. So in our school here, we like to offer, as I say, a variety of different activities, not just for taking part, but also for competing. So um, over the course of the last few years, we've had teams competing in the British Schools Karting Championships. We've had schools competing in the Indoor Rowing Championships. We've had national champions in croquet. So a variety of different things to be getting involved in, in lessons and outside of lessons. Um, within our PE department, we have various different specialisms, working on different sports. Um, but you'll find that we are all able to push you in a number of different sports as much as possible. Um, one of our biggest um, focuses, as I say, within this school is participation. So we try and get as many of our students active um, outside of lessons as well as in, inside of lessons. Um, you'll find that we have a large number of, of students within a year group and we try as best as possible to get as many of those that want to play competitive sport the opportunity to do so. So for example, last season we had a number of B teams in football for example as it is one of our most popular sports but also things like the basketball, we're rotating the squads to get everybody who wants to play competitively some competitive sport in, there, in our fixtures. We really look forward to having you guys here in September. Um, looking forward to teaching you a variety of different sports and seeing some new faces. The next crop of students coming through to represent the school in Farlingay and enjoy sport here. Year seven, I've been doing lots of sports, such as rugby, and doesn't matter what ability, what skill, how much experience you have, if you feel like going, just come along to the clubs and um, have a load of fun. I never would have imagined playing volleyball because it was always netball when you're in year six. Um, but then I got and we did a lesson in PE and I instantly loved it. Welcome to the technology faculty. As you can see we have a wonderful round building here with lots of different classrooms with different subject specialisms. So in Key Stage 3 as you join us you carousel around all the different subject areas. We have food nutrition, we have uh, systems and graphics, we have tech styles and we have resistant materials. Throughout those projects, you make something which you can take home and be really proud of. We hope they're really engaging projects and we teach you all the basics and the tools and equipment you will need to know in order to make more advanced things as hopefully you carry on to GCSE and ABLE. So we're very proud of the facilities we have on offer here at Farlingay High School. As you can see, there are some 3D printers running behind me. We have numerous uh, amount of those around the school. These are really fascinating because you can build three-dimensional objects by programming on a computer. So again, we have lots of computer access uh, around us in the central area. Um, as well as having great facilities, we also like to offer trips uh, and clubs inside and outside of school. So for example, you can get involved with a uh, co-space programming club where you program robots in order to follow tracks. Now, that sounds a uh, simple way of explaining it, but actually, when you get involved in a competition externally with BT, you can then represent the school and hopefully bring home some awards. We also have coding clubs in ICT. We also run enrichment programs uh, for an Endeavour club. 
So in that we run uh, various activities where you might enter national competitions which we've had some reasonable success. Uh, very recently we had a team win and they had to go to Buckingham Palace to receive an award. Yeah, so as part of the Endeavour project, um, we were offered the opportunity um, to enter in the Team Tech Awards, uh, which is a competition that aims, uh, that challenges young people to design a, uh, a product that would make life easier, safer, or better. So we've taken part in these in this competition three times now. Um, the process is very good. Um, you know, so there's there's research stage, there's development stage, you know, about all the different. Um, stages in developing a product. So one main important skill um, and focus of the project is to uh, develop the product in partnership with industry experts and uh, those skills are great great skills um, for, for, for life basically to be able to, to, to partner up and uh, also um, develop a product um, when you find flaws in it to change and uh, so that the project is always constantly evolving um, to, to ensure it's the best it can be. Learning support is a faculty that's vibrant and full of lots of different people with lots of different skills and we work really well together as a team and that's what makes learning support special at Farlingay High School. We have LSAs that the learning support assistants then the people in the classroom and be able to help students of all different kinds of needs because we are full of experienced people. The learning support faculty has um, a haven room and our haven room is open to our students from year 7 all the way to year 13. I say room but actually it's an area. We have two different classrooms and a, very, and a small computer suite and students are able to come over for a safe space throughout the day to make the large high school seem so much smaller. We run a number of clubs. We have a um, reading club, homework club, handwriting club, touch typing club, we have sick formers that come and help at the clubs, which is great because then our students in year seven, eight or nine has somebody in the school higher up who they become friends with and just get to know. One of our great clubs is Discovery Club, which is like an alternative to PE. And we tend to compete against other schools and also we um, do trips. Those trips can include, in the past have been going to bowling alleys, swimming, horse riding and sailing. So we try to fit in as much as we possibly can to help our students have the best experience that they can so they know that they are also valued members of our learning school community at Farlingay High School. We're really proud of what we provide in learning support. We have a diverse, experienced group of learning support assistants and I have a very good team of high-level teaching assistants that help to teach small groups for some of our students across year 7 to year 11. Welcome to the Sixth Form Centre. My name is Mrs Stewart and I'm Director of Sixth Form. We are proud to offer over 35 different Level 3 qualifications here from a wide range of different subjects. At Sixth Form we are passionate about making sure that each student studies courses that are definitely suited for them. There are so many extracurricular opportunities on offer and enrichment for each subject. There is a vast majority of trips, and different activities that you can get involved in whilst you are here at Sixth Form. Please look on the website if there's any more information you would like, don't hesitate to get in contact. Throughout my time at Sixth Form I've enjoyed all my subjects such as English Literature, Philosophy and Business. Yeah it's great, it's great, it gives you all of the, um, you know, everything you need to prepare yourselves for apprenticeships and going to university. There's definitely not a lot more respect for students as you've obviously chosen to be here and the teachers can tell that your work ethic's a lot better and it's a really, really different but great experience. I'd say if they're not sure, definitely explore as many options as you can around here, but Farlinga is definitely a safe bet. Most of the same teachers as I have had before, so I knew what they expected out of me and what I expected out of them, so it works really well. Yeah, the staff are really helpful and they'll always have time for any questions you have. I hope to be a doctor one day and Farlinga have really supported me on my journey so far to become being a medic. At Farlingay, we're really proud to be able to offer the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme to our students in Year 10, 11 and the Sixth Form. The DOV is a programme of activities for 14 to 24 year olds at one of three progressive levels, which when complete will lead to a bronze, silver or gold award. There are four different sections to complete at bronze and silver, and these involve helping with the community, the environment, becoming fitter, developing new skills, planning, 
training and completing an expedition. And at Gold Only, there's an extra section which is called the residential, and that's working with the team on a residential activity. Any young person could do their DAV regardless of ability, gender, background, or location. And achieving the award isn't about competition, it's not about being the first or being the best, it's all about setting personal goals and personal challenges and pushing your own boundaries. So if you join up to DAV, you can have lots of fun. You can make new friends, improve your self-esteem and build your confidence. You can gain lots of essential skills and attributes for work and life, um, such as resilience, problem solving, team working, communication and the drive to succeed. It can help to enhance your CV and can also help with university and job applications in the future. So we have fantastic teachers at the school. They will help you to develop the skills and knowledge you need to do exceptionally well at school, but they will also instill in you a love of learning and an ability to learn that will sustain you when you go out into the world, whether that's to university, to apprenticeships or into employment. Our students make excellent transitions from school into their next steps and we have great success.